Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to one of my videos. Now today is going to be a different type of video. I am actually going to be preparing for Triple Fest, Alabama. And I'm going to be attending there and there's a bunch of things I want to do to the car. Uh, one of them is install a new base knob. I got a Big Jeff Audio base knob. Uh, make a new box for my sub. I'll leave everything in the description. Uh, I got, I'm replacing my American base with another Tempano TPT 2500. Uh, I think those will hit the lows like nothing else. I'm still waiting on my 8K, Mars Digital 8K. I think it should be coming in before it gets to showtime. So that should be good. I'm going to hook that up. And yeah, that should be it. I may replace a couple of fuses to 300 amp fuses. But other than that, just stay on the journey. And I got all my wood for the box. I went to Home Depot and now I'm going to actually be making the box. So stay tuned. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sir Juan Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. Alright, back to video. Alright guys, look what I just got in the mail. This is going to be the Big Jeff Audio base knob. Um, this was uh, like 50 bucks, and I'm really excited for this. It is a perfect fit on my hand and yeah, this will be great for Triple Fest. Um, it also has the inputs and outputs. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the output side. And then the input side is right here. Um, it is labeled. You just got to look pretty closely. And let's go put it up to the car and see what it sounds like. All right, guys. So this is what I was running. Uh, this one was okay. I mean, it's just a cheap bass knob that I got from like fucking Timu for like four bucks. And uh, it distorts when it gets high on bass, and that's why I'm upgrading to the Big Jeff Audio for uh, Triple Fest. And let's get these in the Big Jeff Audio um, bass knob and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, got a 35 hertz frequency plan. Let's turn it up. Let's see how it sounds. guys so that's gonna be the rear this is gonna be the left side it's gonna be facing this way so imagine it's facing that way uh, it's gonna be uh, double baffled so I have uh, two uh, three and quarter plywood and then port area I'm pretty sure it's gonna be about five I'm gonna have to double check that but yeah looking pretty good so far I got my silicone and my wood glue doing it Let's get it done. All right, guys, let's get this cut out and see if it fits. All right, guys, to get this jigsaw in, what you want to do is go down, create a couple holes, and insert the jigsaw so you can actually get it to cut out the circle. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'll get back to you when I do that. All right, guys, first one cut out. It's always better to cut too small than too big because uh, you can always just recut and fit the saw in. So now the foot saw fits perfectly. Uh, I recut like two times. And yeah, let's get to the next hole. All right, guys, this is what it will be looking like. I just got to glue and get everything good. This is going to be a big, big ass port. I can like fit my whole arm in it. I wanted to make a really big port. I'm debating on if I want to put the wood right there or make it a little bit even bigger and put it like, like flush right there. I don't know. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like right now. I just finished spray painting it. I've spray painted that and the bottom. So now all that we have left is put on the top and put the subs in. Now, uh, I don't have a little terminal for my wire. I'm gonna run it through the port to the straight to the amp. I just found that would be the, the best way. I'm gonna run 12 gauge wire uh, because I know the Timpano, I know this Timpano sub has six gauge terminals and two 12 gauge wire will be perfect. And I also made the port a little bit bigger which is awesome. And yeah, I'll let you know the final product. All right, guys, got the box done, got it taped, got it wallpaper. This is the new box, this is the old box. Look at the difference, pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna take these subs out, put them upstairs or something. And uh, yeah, have this sub as the, this box is the main setup. Now over in the car, it just, it comes out to like right here. So, I mean, it, I have 
a tiny bit of trunk space, but it hits this thing right here. It hits this. And this is pure metal, so I can't really do much about it because of my setup right here. So maybe I'll upgrade to new batteries, smaller batteries, uh, Big Jeff Audio batteries probably, and uh, see if it'll fit that way. But for the competition, shouldn't have any issues. And yeah, let's get the subs in, see what it looks like. All right guys, look what came in the mail. Uh, just came in the mail actually. The uh, Tempano TPT 2500 Dual 12. Um, X Max 23.5 millimeters, three inch black copper clad aluminum coil, US made. This thing, I already have one it's right there. I ordered another. This thing's gonna pound, guys. Let's get it out of the box. That's what I like to see. It's double boxed. So let's get this one out of the box now. Hell yeah, guys. Let's get this thing out and see what it looks like. All right, guys, here it is the TPT D2. Uh, to ohm um, now uh, let me do a little bit of a brief little guide on this subwoofer. first so it is going to be a three inch copper clad aluminum black coated coil uh, USA made six gauge tinsel leads or tinsel terminal sorry uh, we got one strand going to each coil um, I, I like I said in my last video I do like to see two strands but that's all right um, this thing is an X-Max monster, uh, from what I have, all my subs, this thing has the best X-Max of all of them. I mean, that, that is only a couple subs, but still, uh, the magnet, I'm actually not too sure on the magnet size, but it is, as you can see there, TPT T2500D2, that's the one I ordered, the 2 ohm. The magnet's pretty large for what it is, um, yeah, when I was, uh, using that one this one absolutely pounds and this one will too all i want to do for this one is get it up in the car uh break it in so it's as broken in as that one Here, i'll show you a little bit that's me pushing it down a lot and i'll show you that one all right guys as you can see this one is a lot easier to push in than that one so I'm gonna get to the point where it's broken in as it, this one's uh this one's gonna be as broken in as this one. So it'll hit those lows because this subwoofer is great at hitting the lows. I can't stress that enough. I'm gonna wire it down to half an ohm in the car and see what we be rocking. So without further ado, let's go break this thing in and uh, finish up the box fuse. Still waiting on the amp. And yeah, this this video is gonna be awesome, guys. All right, guys, we are breaking in the Tempano TPT 2500. And yeah, I'll get back to you when this thing is fully broken in. All right, guys, got the box and subs hooked up to the car. All we need to do is get the 8K hooked up and play them. Um, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so it's time to replace the fuses. So I got this one under the hood, 300 amp. And I'm only gonna replace two. So as you can see, I'm only gonna place that one in this one. I'm gonna keep that one over there, 150, just in case. So let's get it. All right guys, so we got it all hooked up to the car and we are reading 13.3. Let's see what this one's reading. Just, just to check it out. That one's reading 13.9. So the battery's 13.9, but the amp is receiving 13.4. So we'll see how much that differs, but yeah. Let's get this thing uh, tuned, set the gains. I'm not gonna set the gains very aggressive because uh, these subs can't really handle the full of the AK. So I'm probably gonna set it to about 5,000 or 6,000. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does.
been all alone. On my own, I've been on my own. But the devil trying to hit my phone.